All right, guys. Just a simple explanation about six points of income tax. So I hope all the company owners can remember these uh, simple six points generally, right? So this is not very specific tax like somebody come and ask, oh, I'm importing coffee, what's the tax? So that is not I'm mentioning here. This is what I'm mentioning here as a generally, as a company owner, generally what should you remember, right? So there are three type of tax involved in a company monthly basis, okay? Not annual basis. Annual is different. I will do a video later. So monthly basis, there are three type of tax. Number one is the income tax. So there is a wrong understanding or perception about almost everybody that uh, I run a company for three years, but no transaction. Uh, nobody going to believe it, right? Uh, yes, tax department don't have time to check all the companies, but once they check, check in, in some case, so they know. Right. So what happened that? So they are not, they are going to audit. So once they audit, they will find a lot of things that uh, not related or not created. I have one video posted a few days ago about the tax audit. Right. What are the things they are looking at? So number one point is the income tax for the shop owners, small shop owners, two to five percent. Why I say not exactly because it is related to the monthly uh, the currency exchange and they have Prakash, different different Prakash, but basically 2 to 5%. Once we key in the, the income of the shop, it automatically says this, uh, this is what it is. So it's, it's round up like 2 to 5% of any income. Whether you record in the bank account or you just have bills and keep the cash on your pocket, that's it. Okay, so that is one. Number two is the wet transaction, wet transaction, VAT transactions, right? So those are standard companies like logistic companies, buy and sell companies, they buy, buy from the goods. So wet transaction must record in the bank account. Okay, cannot get the money and keep it in your pocket. Why? Because the other company, which is a wet company, they will declare, they will mention that they had paid some of money to this company which is you and if you are not declared in the bank account that means it is cheating right so illegal so wet invoices all must go into the company bank account not personal bank account right i know some people they do personal dealing that is a different story i'm not talking about that right okay so wet invoices 10 percent of the transaction need to go so when you do pricing when you do billing so careful okay what if uh, there is a transaction uh, but not mention anything about wet in the invoice but still go into the company company account then whatever that money came in 10 percent has to pay back example suddenly 100 dollar drop into your bank account out of 100 dollar 10 dollar need to go back to tax department so simply remember these three points it's enough Number four, salary tax. Okay, there's another perception that, oh, I don't hire any worker. Nah? No. According to the Labor Law Article 1997, as I remember, minimum workers are eight above. Okay, if you are an enterprise, right? Even a salon, even a, what? The coffee shop still consider as a enterprise. Okay, not, no such a thing as, oh, I am just myself. In the company that's all no okay according to the labor law especially when you are registering you are automatically registering to ministry of labor mean you are liable to ministry of labor law so that is minimum requirement is eight worker yes in the business you cannot hire eight workers at once at least one or two or three then increase over the years okay there is cannot be a company that run for five years but no worker that is violating a labor law, right? So what if in the first few years you didn't have any worker? So the tax department, the auditor automatically take company owner as a general manager, the governing manager, and they charge the tax for the salary is 5%, right? So the, 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 uh, the level is up to 16 million is zero. 24 million, which is the 16 million is a worker, right? Worker salary like two, three hundred dollars, less than five hundred dollars. And then up to five hundred dollars and above 24 million is five percent need to pay back to the government. And then go 102 million Kamai Reel. I'm talking about Kamai Reel, 
it is 10 percent which is mostly the supervisory level it is close to one thousand dollars need to go back right and then 150 million which is higher level like general manager level right so tax department is not going to do 150 million they are going by minimum it is 24 million right that is provided there is no any evidence to find out this particular company never ever had any worker never ever had any worker right there's no record nobody come up or nothing what if there was a record right let's say oh you have a few workers but now no more you shut down or something happened they are going to the next club because if you have a few worker they assume there had been a supervisor so whatever the person a uh, one person they are charging going back to 102 million slab so like that they are, they will find a way to construct a, a worker salary during the audit okay if you are called for an audit okay so that is number four huh? number five is uh, as i mentioned if we mentioned or if you're going to say that there was no any worker like that so they will be can take the company owner as automatically as a managing governor and put up a minimum salary or second level or what right so up to the discussion so last point withholding tax so most of the time we mentioned withholding tax right everybody is paying withholding tax so withholding tax is not only the building if you rent a car in cambodia right especially if you are renting in a company or something they will mention they had booked rent to you because in the declaration system either you mention the VAT pin number or either mention the passport or id number so the tax department know who rent this car uh, not only the cars any machinery like if you are the agriculture or something you buy tractor construction and all that if they mention that they rent this machine to uh, let's say that's a standard company right they have at invoices if they mention oh they had rent this machine to this particular person or this particular company so the, uh, the government uh, tax department know that you have the, this machine so it is the withholding is not only your rent shop or rent office or house it's also machinery and uh, equipment or even any other services right they can be verified so basically the 10 percent all right so i hope all our owners can remember this uh, six points around 7.4 minutes uh, maybe watch few times again so you can get what i say i will try to put uh, translation in chinese also Thanks, guys.